Hello and welcome to my YouTube video. Today I've prepared a time lapse of a painting that I recently completed in Photoshop. It's based on the reference photo, as you can see on the screen, of this young woman who's kind of staring sideways at the viewer. And I just really like that look in her eyes of like knowingness and I, I don't know, I really like the shapes of her face with these like round cheeks and kind of like square shadows around her eyes. So I try to draw attention to that look in her eyes in the final piece. So I hope you enjoy this video. It's on times 30 speed. So this painting took me a little bit over two hours to finish to completion. Part of this time lapse is like missing a little bit. And I'll try and talk a little bit about what I was doing here. So recently I've been watching a lot of videos from Marco Bucci on Skillshare and on his YouTube channel. And I just have learned a lot about how to work in a more carefree manner in Photoshop, which I really like because I feel like I used to be kind of more strict with myself about how I would approach a painting in Photoshop, like trying to use like the same, the specific brushes or like the specific colors that I had set for myself. But from watching his videos, I've kind of learned more about how to be like carefree and just pick colors and brushes and everything that kind of just felt right for the moment in Photoshop. So yeah, I've kind of learned a lot from that. And I would def definitely recommend his videos if you're looking at improving your Photoshop painting skills. Let me see, what else can I say about this painting? I definitely tried playing around a lot more with my color choices and using like cooler hues in the shadows and warmer tones in the lights. And then I really liked having those kind of more saturated reds and oranges and even some pinks on those spots where like the light met the shadow so like around her eyes which i thought was a nice aspect because it really like drew your attention in the final piece towards her eyes i like to if you zoom in close at the end of this video or you can probably see it now but um i pick like a really deep highly saturated blue for her irises and i just thought it was like a neat way of like really putting that attention there. I've been working on trying to like understand more about the shape language and like compositional strategies for improving my paintings but I know that even though this I'm like proud of this picture I feel like I still have a long way to go so I think I'm gonna keep exploring different ways of painting in Photoshop and keep trying to improve my art so I hope that Maybe if you watch this video, it will help inspire you to keep exploring and creating and we can improve on our art together. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.